Hello, welcome to the... Vintage neighbors, welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey, and today we are doing a thrift haul. It's been a while, <laughs> but I still have been thrifting, and so I have kind of just put together kind of like a best of for the last couple of months of what I have found. And as you know, I had the mother load of the hoarder's house. So this is in addition to that. <laughs> this is stuff that I've actually purchased at the thrift store for the most part. But before we start, I wanted to show you, I ordered some samples of the merch and it has arrived and I'm so excited because it's so cute. So look, oh my gosh, I love it. Super cute. Love. There's also a coral pink version. They're super soft material, kind of stretchy. And I wore this one the other day, um, all day at work, and it didn't hurt my ears or anything. So I am super happy with it. I love the design. You can see Mr. Johnny Cash, Kitty, atomic version of Johnny Cash. And then in the bottom here, it has the Vintage Girl Next Door. So yeah, I'm super excited. If you wanna check out the merch, I will link it below, but it's also just on my channel page. Across the top, there's different tabs. You can click on the tab that says store and you can find it there. I'm still waiting. I wanna get the cell phone case. And also I am working on shirts, I'm working on designing some shirts for my vintage neighbors. Stay tuned, I will post a little update as soon as those are ready to go. So if you want to support the Vintage Neighborhood, then you can head over to my store and check out some Vintage Neighbor merch. So without further ado, let's get started with the thrift items. First up is the set of silverware and it is Bakelite handled silverware. Look, it's super pretty. Bakelite handles. It's a pretty decent sized set. However, there are no spoons. It's just forks and knives. So, it's fine. So I'll have to round up some spoons maybe at some point to go with these, but I thought they were super pretty. I got this whole tray of silverware for $3. Next up is more Bakelite silverware. This is a dessert set. Look how beautiful. I love that it has like this kind of like starbursty compass design on it, on the serving knife thing. And then some little dessert forks. It's super pretty. I'll show you this one is like two-tone Bakelite. It's so cool. I loved it. And this I found for $3 as well. And it also, it has a reg, like a tag on it from an antique store, I think. And it says pastry serving set, two-tone Bakelite, 58.50. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I got a good deal on that. Next up, I found a Vegomatic in the box with the other blades that go with it, I believe, the other pieces. This is what it looks like. And this is a very notorious Popeil Brothers product. So I'm really excited to test this one out. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a vintage gadget video to test this one because this is a big one. So basically you put um, these metal pieces or what switch out and then you put your vegetable, whatever you're gonna slice in there. Set this on the counter and then you press press it down and it slices out the bottom. So yeah, maybe we could make some, I don't know, French fries or maybe just some chopped up veggies, something like that. 
This is actually the second bed dramatic that I found. The first one was given to me by a cute friend and neighbor. And then this one I found at the thrift store. I believe this one was $3. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see the Vegematic in action. Next up, we have some Pyrex. I thrifted this lid and I don't have the dish to go with it, but I find that it's typical to, to thrift Pyrex without the lid. And so if I ever see lids, especially these decorative ones, I just go ahead and get them and hopefully I'll run across the bottoms. I feel like they're easier to come by though than the lids. So I always pick them up and I paid $4 for this lid. I feel like that's a little steep for a thrift store price, but I don't know. I paid it, I wanted it, it's fine. <laughs> Next up is another piece of Pyrex. I found the Black Scrolls divided dish with the lid. And they had the lid priced separately, even though it was like with the dish. I asked about it and they're like, oh yeah, the, do you know what those are worth? I'm like, yeah, but this is a thrift store. Like, <laughs> it's fine. I wanted it, I got it, it's fine. I paid $8 for this one. The base was five and then the lid was three. Still though, $8 for the Pyrex divided dish is not a bad price. Like, don't get me wrong. I just, I just think when something's at a thrift store, like you, you price it like it's at a thrift store. Do you know what I mean? Next up is some more Pyrex. I thrifted a set of these cups and I found a whole set of these cups. There are seven, <laughs> seven cups and I paid $4 for all of them. Super pretty. And I do have some of this set, so I'm excited. Next up, I thrifted some fun cookbooks. This first one is from Osterizer, and I actually have one of these blenders, so I thought it'd be fun to get the little recipe book that goes with the blender, and it's, all, it's got all kinds of different recipes that you use the blender for part or all of the recipes, so I thought that was a lot of fun. There's like cakes and all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> nice looking gelatin ring there. This is gonna be real fun to try out some of these recipes. Another one I found, Good Housekeeping's Quick and Easy Cookbook. Time saver dishes for today's busy woman. This one has a lot of really cute fonts. Like look at the font for that, I love it. Similar to mine, Vintage Girl Next Door font. We'll just read one. And I told I told my son this is what I'm gonna make him for lunch when he comes home for lunch from school. It's called the Lunchbox Special. Mix just until blended, one six ounce package, softened chive cream cheese with a third a cup left over, cooked carrots, peas, or other vegetables in bite-sized pieces. Half a teaspoon onion salt, two tablespoons minced celery. Use as a sandwich filling between buttered rye or whole wheat bread. So you're gonna take your leftover steamed veggies from the night before in bite-sized pieces, mix them in some cream cheese, season it, spread it on a sandwich. Yikes, right? Oof. Yeah, I had fun looking through this one and we were just cracking up over some of these recipes. <laughs> you have to look at the cute picture. Look how cute it is, you guys. I love that. This one is copyright 1958, so perfect. That's gonna be a fun one too. And last but certainly not least, this one by Knox On Camera Recipes. So Knox was the gelatin brand. So a completely new guide to gel cookery. So this is basically full of the all the jellos. 
all the molds that you could ever dream of are in this wonderful book. Look, you guys, this could go with those leftover sandwiches. Basically, it's just leftover veggies in a gelatin. But this one's fun because it shows it has pictures showing each step of the recipe. That's why it's called the on-camera recipes, they said, because they have pictures showing each step. I believe I paid like $5 for all three of them, so not bad at all. This one's from 1962. Just gotta love these vintage cookbooks, man. They're so fun to look through. Next up, I found a whole bag full of salt and pepper shakers from the 40s. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So we have the elephants. These don't say, but I believe they're made in Japan. <laughs> Look at their little rosy cheeks back there. <laughs> they're so cute. So there's one with the pink ears and one with the blue ears. And they both have little pink bums. <laughs> so cute. We've got some strawberries. And these ones have a date on them, and I, I believe that they were homemade, like ho at least painted. Um, and it says Flora 1942. These ones I thought were so funky. I thought they had to be like 60s or 70s. No, like what I've researched online, they're from the 40s as well. Look at these. <laughs> Aren't they so funny? Look at that big toe. Why is it so big? <laughs> also got these pretty ones with they have like pears and peaches on them it's like a little picture cute these two I thought were very cool look how art deco they look so awesome and so I wasn't quite sure how they worked at first but on the bottom here you press you press the button on the bottom and the top pops up and that's how you shake out the salt and pepper. Aren't those fun? I don't think these are Bakelite. I don't know. I need to test them further. I don't think that they are. But, and then there's the cream ones too. So you can see that pop up. Very cool. A red and an ivory. These I think were my very favorite ones. Look at the hugging bunnies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. It says bunny hug, Van Tellingen. Yeah, how cute is that? The little hugging bunnies and they come apart. Look at them, I love it. I thought that was so cute. All of those salt and peppers Plus a few more that I've already given away to friends. We're all in a big plastic, like a little plastic bag for $3. So can't beat that. We'll go ahead and continue on kind of the smalls category. Found this Christmas brooch. It is a signed one. I don't know if you can see that there on the back. But I'm sure we'll get some wear out of this in the months to come. And this cute little spoon holder, Santa spoon holder. Definitely 50s. It looks like he used to have a red hat and it's just totally come off, I think. But I still think he's cute, even just all white. So that'll be fun to use for the holidays. Next up is this really cute turquoise planter. Definitely 50s vibe here. And I also found this matching guy at a separate thrift store just within like a week apart. So definitely go together, match together. I thought they were really cool. Little Asian pieces, love them. Next up I found some tiki mugs. And these ones are so cool. They say Harvey's Lake Tahoe, Nevada. And I looked them up and from what I can find, these are from the 60s from like Tahoe, Harvey's, and they are made in Japan. There, you can see, and they're marked at $2 each, but they were in the half off bin, so I got both of them for $2 together. And they're really pretty. This one, some of the 
finish is kind of wearing off, but this one's in really good shape. So add those to our Tiki Mug collection. I also thrifted this cool guy, Tiki Mug. It says the islands, Phoenix, Arizona. And I did not have a chance to look much up about the islands. I don't know if this is indeed a vintage one or if it is a modern and this the islands is just a still going tiki bar i don't know if you know anything about the islands in phoenix arizona tell me in the comments i'd love to know paid a dollar 50 for this guy but i thought it was really cool looking he's going to be a good addition to the tiki mug set next up i thrifted a whole bag full of these really cool bulbs they are 50s bulbs, lighted ice, cool burning decorative lamps. And they are all this turquoise frosted bulb. I got them for 25 cents each. So I got that whole bag. And I think it's going to be enough to do like a, a good sized strand of lights for Christmas. I'm really excited. These are so cool. And they are not cheap nowadays. I looked on eBay and just a small strand was at least $20 or more. So I got a whole bunch of these little guys for just 25 cents each. So we'll have to get now a strand that these can be compatible with and use them for Christmas decoration. Some of them had that cover and then some of them had this cover, lighted ice. Christmas string sets. Fits regular C7.5 Christmas string sets. Multiple burning, no hunting for burnouts. This beautiful lamp adds glamour to Christmas trees, outdoor gardens, recreation rooms, or party decorations. Sweet. Next up, you may have heard me mention, I went to a sale at a local antique store that was going selling out, going out of business, and everything was free. So I just got my hands on a few little treasures from there. And this was one of them. Look at this magazine. Very cool. This is January 27th, 1961, the Kennedy inauguration. And the cover is a little bit damaged, which I'm sad about, but the inside is in very good shape. Um, see, it has the full like page spread. It says, a new hand, a new voice, a new verve. And it's all about the new president, JFK. It has his whole speech is printed in here. Um, see, it says a great speech. We're talking about the ask not what your country can do for you. That's the speech. This is really cool and it goes hand in hand with the next item um, that the next item that I thrifted. I did do a video a while back reading vintage ads from a magazine. So if you want to see that, I will link it for you. That was a fun one. I could not stop laughing some of those ads. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> As I mentioned, it goes along with this next item. I thrifted this record and it is the voice of John F. Kennedy. It is his speech. Um, it says side one, John F. Kennedy's inaugural address, January 20th, 1961. Side two, conclusion of inaugural address and battle hymn of the Republic. Special memorial recording. Very cool. Have not tried to play this yet in the record player. Um, but it doesn't, it looks good. It doesn't look like warped or scratched or anything too bad. There's a few scratches on it, but I think it should play just fine. So yeah, I'm excited to give that a listen. That'll be fun. I found a few other records the past little while. I found this one, 50 stars of country music. Has a lot of good ones, Patsy Klein, George Jones. Yeah, I thought it had some fun, some fun people and some fun songs. So that's all of them on the front here. Next up, I just thrifted this the other day. Merry Christmas, The Supremes. Yes, I'm so excited 
for this one for the Christmas season. Look how cute, you guys. <laughs> so cute. This one was only a dollar. Hopefully it's in good shape. The um, cardboard is a little rough. Oh, it looks like it's a little bit scratched, but it's a very cool Motown. Next up for the pink bathroom, pink poodle garbage. And with the rhinestones, look how cute he is. Oh my, I love it. It has a little bit of rust and things on the bottom. Uh, I don't know really if I'm gonna be able to fix it without, I don't know, because I, I don't wanna ruin the design. It's really cool, like hand painted. It, it's got some texture to it. Uh, so I don't wanna ruin that. So I may just kind of sand over and then just do like clear so that it doesn't keep rusting. Um, but yeah, this, this one, I still have the price tag on because I haven't cleaned it or anything yet, but it, it was $2. I had to have it, you guys, the poodle with the jewel eyes, okay? Come on now, had to. Okay, next thing might be a little difficult to show, um, but I put one together and it is tiki torches for the yard. And they're cute, look at the black and white stripes. I love it, the pink top, love it. So you put the oil in here and then light it and it burns, you stick this in your yard. Got a whole box of them. It looks to be 1960s to me, but either way, I thought they were cute. So we, now we might have to have an outdoor tiki party. But I think at this point, we're probably gonna have to wait till next summer to do it, which, I mean, what do you do, right? Uh, this is what the box looks like. Hopefully you can see. Bali torch, it says. And I paid $5 for the tiki torches. Next up, we have a gem from the hoarder house that I have not shown you yet. It is uh, this 1948 Electrolux vacuum. Look how cool it looks. Looks like a, like a missile, <laughs> I think, <laughs> or a bullet, but the handle is in really good shape and we've started polishing it. Uh, my husband's polished the front and the sides so far. Has yet to do the back, but we will. What the? What is that? Anyway, yeah, I'm so excited. It does not, ugh, it's heavy. <laughs> I'll show you, here's the end. It doesn't have the hose or a lot of the attachments, so I'm on the hunt for those. If you have any hot tips, let me know. I'm on the lookout, but it did come with a few attachments and they're pretty cool, so I will show you. So this is one of the attachments. This is a cool one. Basically, it is like a deodorizer, so you put, it says to put mothballs in it, but definitely not my speed of smell that I want to be blowing all over my house. So maybe some kind of other air freshener can go in here. Um, but basically you put it in like that and you hook the vacuum hose on and then you blow it into the air. Very cool, right? I was excited that we found this attachment because this one is kind of like a, like a specialty one, extra and gimmicky which is what I love about the 50s. <laughs> okay, next up, if you know me at all, you know we cannot have a thrift haul without some kitties. So don't worry, I got you. We found kitties. So, this one, she's so pretty. She has super voluminous eyelashes that I love. And she actually, has two babies that go with her that were not with her, sad, um, but that's what this little, this little um, hook is right here. It has two chains attached with the little babies on like the leash, I guess. So unfortunately, no babies, but I still love her. She's still beautiful. This one, Tabby, so cute, made in Japan. 
Um, yeah, this one's cool. I haven't seen a tabby before, so I was really excited. And then this dapper gent with his bow tie. Love him. So cute. This beautiful miss. She also has long, fluttery, beautiful eyelashes. And there is a sticker on this one. It says CNC, Los Angeles, Japan. Also the smaller one. Kind of matches her a little, a little bit. I don't know, the coloring's a little different. I don't think they're a set necessarily, but they definitely look like they match. Last, this cute one with the blue eyes has a tag. Victoria Ceramics, made in Japan. So remember when I was talking about the big bundle of all the salt and pepper shakers? All of these were together in a bundle for $2. Six kitties for two bucks. You guys, can you even? I was so excited. It was like a packaged bundle of lacy treasure waiting for me on the shelf of the thrift store. So happy to find all of these beautiful kitties and I put them in my atomic shadow box and I love them. Okay, that's it for the non-clothes. Now I will show you the clothing items that I thrifted. Okay, so obviously this is in addition to the hoarder house clothing items, so you can bet that I've had to make some room so yeah, I've been doing closet sales over on my closet Instagram page. And if you want to snag some, you're going to want to go over there and check that page. I've been trying to do sales weekly to make some room because you guys, it's getting a little rough over here. Our house was built in 1953, which means not much closet space going on. So I have commandeered half of my husband's closet and the downstairs spare room closets as well. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna be clearing some things out continuously. So check that closet page if you wanna get in on that. First up is this lovely pink lace off the shoulder dress. And this one is probably 1970s, maybe late 60s. The brand is Candy Jones, California, which I have thrifted another dress from this brand. I actually just sold it on my closet page. I'm excited to try this one on for you guys. I haven't tried it on yet. I've just washed it recently. So I'm excited to try it on, see if it fits, and maybe do just like a fun little era swap and then it probably will go up for sale, honestly, because it's not not necessarily my era, but I definitely couldn't leave it behind. It was free at the antique store going out of business. I just barely thrifted this the other day. It is a gunny sacks dress. And this one is 1970s, I believe. I thrifted it for $4. And here is the tag. If you are into vintage clothing, you know gunny sacks is super collectible, especially right now. There's like a craze going on with the gunnies right now. I don't know what's going on with it, but these babies sell for at, usually at least $100 or more. So for $4, had to grab it. And I have a sweet friend that this is headed towards and I'm really excited for her to have it. It is just really cute on. I will try it on for you guys so that you can see. It's really actually really cute on, just not 
That's not my style, but I do definitely have an appreciation for them and I do love seeing them um, on other people. Next up, I found this gorgeous 1940s dress black with pink chiffon I think accents and there's some soutache on there so pretty some rhinestones you guys this dress is magical I am in love with it has some shoulder pads they're in really good shape they're not like hard or lumpy or anything this dress oh my gosh it's beautiful and I feel like it fits really well it's super pretty on and I'm definitely gonna get some wear out of this one we just need something a little fancy to do right so somebody have a party or something <laughs> maybe I'll just have to get dressed up and have my own little tea party at home I don't know but it's it was too beautiful to leave behind I there's no way I could have left this one on the shelf I got it for four dollars four dollars 1940s perfection next up is another 70s dress and I typically don't gravitate towards these you guys but this one was speaking to me for some reason the pattern on it is really cool the colors are really pretty so I I mean I'm definitely going to wear it at least a few times I think because I just it's it's really appealing to me for some reason I think it's I think it's just the combination of the colors and the pattern that I really really like so yeah had to get this one and this one was six dollars <laughs> Next up is this gorgeous vintage 1950s wiggle dress. You guys, it's so pretty. I love the applique with the rhinestones on the top. It has some nice boning in it for some structure. The pockets, can we just, they're so good. Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle Juliette. There is the tag. It's so pretty, it fits, thank goodness, because I would have been real sad if it didn't. And uh, I paid $8 for this one. Yeah, this one is just so good. And I, I feel, I don't know for sure, but I feel like this one probably has like a jacket or a bolero or something that goes over it. But alas, I couldn't find it at, this, at the thrift store. I went back, I looked through all of the jackets and shirts and no luck but it's super pretty all on its own i love it i'm so excited again please we need something fancy to do i i have these gorgeous dresses and i must wear them at some point so let's get with it you guys we gotta do something fun next up is this gorgeous multicolored bright beautiful dress this one I, I'm not sure on the era it's it's at least 50s possibly earlier so here is the tag I could not find anything about this brand if anybody knows please tell me in the comments because I would love more about this awesome dress it almost kind of has like maybe Mexican vibes um, I'm not sure but it has a metal side zip has ties and look at the skirt you guys it is so good it's so pretty and the back it has kind of like a train situation with the colors it's just gorgeous and it's it's quite small if it fits I'll try it on for you I don't think it's going to though it's alas it's a little small but I couldn't leave it behind the colors are so pretty I love it bright colors just speak to me it just makes me happy so yeah I had to and if it 
if it's just, there's no way it's gonna fit me, I'll either put it on my closet page or probably gift it to a friend. Um, but yeah, this one, oh gosh. Six bucks for this beautiful rainbow perfection of a dress. Okay, we made it through all of the things, all of the thrifted things. Let me know in the comments if you had any awesome thrift finds. I would love to hear about them. Tell me what treasures you found in the wild thrifting. Check out my new Vintage Neighbor merch. I would love for you to represent the Vintage Neighbors. And if you do end up getting any merch, please tag me. If you post pictures of it on Instagram, make sure you tag me. I'm at Lacey Faye. I would love to see what you get. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like thrift hauls, give it a thumbs up. I would love to continue doing them for you. I have so much fun playing show and tell and showing you the treasures that I've found. And I hope that you are safe and well and feeling loved wherever you are in the world. And if you have not subscribed already, please do so. I would love to have you stick around as part of our Vintage Neighbors, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!